Hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button so you don't miss a thing. Also, come follow us on social media at Disney Food Blog. Hey everybody, it's AJ from Disney Food Blog, and today we have a video that I thought was gonna be kind of easy to do, but as it turns out, it's actually pretty difficult. There's a lot of complexities in this one. So anyway, let's get right to it. I have been doing some of these restaurant throwdowns for you, restaurants that are very similar, that people might be thinking, oh, which one should I try? I don't know. They both have many of the same qualities. So we did that sci-fi, dine-in, and 50s prime time before, and now we're gonna gonna hit up Polite Pig and Deluxe Burger over there in Disney Springs. So Disney Springs, as you know, has just exploded with lots of new places to shop, lots of new places to eat, and two of the new places to eat are Deluxe Burger and Polite Pig, both of which are counter service restaurants or quick service restaurants. So basically, they're considered fast food as far as Disney is concerned, um, although I think they call them kind of fast casual because it's clearly a step up from your standard, you know, fast food joint. But I think a lot of people might be wondering, okay, we're in Disney Springs for the day. Where should we have lunch? You know, should we go to Polite Pig or Deluxe Burger? They're both really great. They're both great options, but I wanted to give you some of the nuanced sort of look at both of these locations so you can pick the one that's going to suit your family the best. Okay, let's get started. So some basics, Deluxe Burger is a burger joint. So you're gonna have lots of different burger options. Right now there are four, five, six, seven, eight burger options on the menu, on the printed menu, I should say, which foreshadows something I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. The Southern Burger, the Barbecue Burger, El Diablo Burger, Veggie Burger, there's a Buffalo Chicken Sandwich, and an Apple Harvest Burger, as well as the Holiday Turkey Burger on the menu right now. Of those, my favorite favorite is the Barbecue Burger. I think it's really great. Some people love that Southern Burger, which has green tomato, fried green tomato, and pimento cheese on it. The buffalo chicken sandwich is good as well. And then over at Polite Pig is going to be barbecue. Polite Pig is run by James and Julie Petrakis, who are the proprietors of Cask and Larder and Ravenous Pig. Very, very highly decorated chefs in the Orlando area. And so they have kind of created this counter service place, which actually feels a lot like a table service location in terms of food quality. So really high end stuff. And even the prices are a little bit table service as well. If you look at some of these prices, you're getting into some pretty high numbers for a counter service location. But you could argue that the quality is high enough and the brand recognition is high enough that it's worth that dollar amount. So over here, you're gonna have a ton of salads. Like there's a million salads on this menu. And then they've got their barbecue. And so you're gonna have half chicken, pork shoulder, baby back ribs, barbecue cheddar sausage, which is really, really good by the way. That barbecue cheddar sausage is delicious. I wasn't super impressed with a lot of the other barbecue that I tried there, but I've only eaten there twice, haven't eaten there a ton, so I still need to get back a couple of times. Prime brisket, cedar plank salmon over there right now, and then they have a butcher board for two. They also have a few sandwiches on the menu, kids meals, etc. So speaking of the butcher board for two, this is pork shoulder smoked chicken brisket and barbecue cheddar sausage, two slaws, two cornbreads, and two sides. Deluxe Burger also is going to have options for two. They have a classic duo, an ultimate duo, and a premium duo where you get two burgers, French fries, sauces, etc. So the next thing I wanna compare between the two is this. Polite Pig has a ton of really inventive and interesting, unique side dishes. This is what one of the things they're sort of famous for is all these different side dishes. They've got barbecue waffle fries, smoked root vegetables. They've got sweet potato tots that a lot of people love, crispy Brussels sprouts, which is probably the best way to have Brussels sprouts. They do a good job with them here. I've had better crispy Brussels sprouts, but they're decent here. They also have barbecue cauliflower, which is one of the two places in Disney World I've seen sort of a flavored cauliflower as a side dish or a snack, roasted beets, grilled street corn, and a few others. So they got a lot of market sides and the sides are all six bucks. So they're a decently budget price for Disney World. But over at Deluxe Burger, you don't have a lot of sides, but you do have a secret menu. So that's something to consider, a secret menu that they don't publish, that they only have on mobile order over there at Deluxe Burger. So you gotta get your My Disney Experience app and order it through mobile order, but they've got 
their bacon and blue burger on that mobile order list, a grilled cheese sandwich. They've got loaded fresh cut fries with beer cheese, bacon, chopped chives, and garlic ranch and jalapenos, which sounds amazing. I haven't tried them yet. I need to try those. They have a strawberry shortcake gelato shake on that secret menu, a bacon and blue salad, and a couple of other options, including the chicken nuggets, which are just on the kids menu regularly. These are donut breaded chicken nuggets. So it adds a little bit of sweetness to them there since the breading is literally donuts. So those chicken nuggets are also on the mobile order secret menu over there. So Polite Pig's got all those sides to choose from and Deluxe Burger has this secret menu to choose, you know, this is, uh, there's a lot of benefits to both. Okay, moving on. Speaking of benefits, over at Deluxe Burger, you've got those great fresh hand-cut fries and a million sauces, not literally a million, don't worry. Uh, you don't have to make that many choices. The sauces over here are three mustard and honey, garlic ranch, curry, ketchup, chipotle mayo, horseradish, and buffalo. And they're all really, really good, I think. I've tried them all, I think they're all really, really good. I love that buffalo, I love the chipotle mayo, garlic ranch is awesome. And the great thing about the dipping sauces is that you can have as many of them as you want. They are free, you can have all of them, so so get a side of those french fries, those great french fries, and dip away. So that's a benefit to Deluxe Burger, but let's head over to Polite Pig again. Over at Polite Pig, they are countering with an incredible, incredible beverage menu. So over here, you are gonna find some great beers and wines, some killer cocktails, and they have a bourbon bar. And when I say bourbon bar, I don't mean just like 10 bourbon options. They have an amazing array of bourbons, including rye bourbons and reserve bourbon. So you're getting into $150 bourbon over here at this fast food joint, like actually, it's crazy. So you're definitely seeing the quality of this location with how high-end these beverage offerings are. It's serious. They've done a really good job, and I know they're really proud of that bourbon bar as well. So if you are a bourbon fan, or if you want to try some, if you want to explore some, head over to Polite Pig. That's where you're going to get the greatest variety right now, at least for a counter service place. So now let's get into dessert. So dessert at Deluxe Burger is gonna be all gelato shakes, lots of gelato shakes, which are really, really good, some good varieties. My favorites, the salted caramel gelato shake, I love it, I've talked to you guys about it before. It's on our snack videos and snack lists, I just adore it. They have a pumpkin pie gelato shake on the menu right now, and then they've got s'mores, birthday cake, chocolate, and vanilla. So lots of options for your non-alcoholic shakes and those are actually included on the dining plan. If you have a quick service credit on the dining plan, um, one of those non-alcoholic shakes will be included as your beverage, by the way, replaces your beverage. Now they also have alcoholic gelato shakes, including a smoked bourbon gelato shake with bacon in it, and then vanilla porter gelato shake as well, the Godiva chocolate and strawberry malt gelato shake. I mean, awesome stuff, awesome options there. But don't leave Polite Pig out of the dessert battle because over there they've got that incredible buttermilk pie. It's a buttermilk chess pie. It's made by a bakery in Tampa. Seriously delicious stuff. It just, it just slayed me the first time I had it. I love it. But that was until they brought in the incredible Gideon's chocolate chip cookies. Now Gideon's Bakehouse, as you guys know from the channel, is over there in Orlando. Super, super famous lines wrapped around the block to get into that place and Polite Pig now offers Gideon's Bakehouse cookies but only a small amount and only at 4 p.m. like they bring them in once per day sometimes twice per day and they sell out real quickly so if you want your Gideon's cookie which is more than I mean it's got to be a half pound it's huge it takes at least three days to eat this thing it's giant super rich and incredible but you've got to get there at a certain time before they run out of those cookies over there at Polite Pig so incredible gelato shakes or that awesome buttermilk pie and that Gideon's cookie. So this is a really hard throwdown, I think. It really does depend on which type of food you like better. Do you love handcrafted burgers? And when I say handcrafted, they actually ask you the temperature you'd like it cooked to. So you can have a medium rare burger at Deluxe Burger, which I love because there are very few counter service locations that will do that for you, um, especially in Disney World. So you have these handcrafted burgers that are excellent, absolutely delicious 
fries with all those sauces, gelato shakes, and that secret menu versus Polite Pig where you've got that incredible pedigree of the Petrakis's and barbecue, the bourbon bar, those great desserts, and all those side dishes. So there's lots of things to recommend both locations. Do you love barbecue and bourbon? Or do you love burgers and gelato? That's, you know, what's what's going to decide it for you and your family. Again, and also the prices. The pricing is going to be a little bit lower over there at Deluxe Burger too. Me personally, it's really tough. I love Deluxe Burger, but Polite Pig keeps changing their menu and coming up with some new stuff. And like I said, I didn't love it the first couple times, but I do need to get over there and try it again. So it's hard for me to make the call on this one. But like I said, I figured you guys probably felt the same way, that these places are very similar, hard to choose between the two, and you could use a little help. So hopefully this video has helped you as I've highlighted a few of the benefits and unique qualities of both of these restaurants. All right, let me know what you guys think. Let us know your experiences with Deluxe Burger and Polite Pig. Stick those in the comments. Please give us a like and a subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know the next time we publish a video. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it, you guys. And this is AJ for Disney Food Blog. We'll see you real soon.